a new little part here. It's a orifice restrictor on the charge master powder dropper and I very precisely printed these threads internally and externally and um, it screws in very easily. I'll pause this. I'm going to dump the powder back into the back so I can thread it in. Okay, I'm trying to video this and do this at the same time. Not too easy. <laughs> this is painful. Here we go. Now I would suggest holding on to the nozzle tube when you tighten it. It's a perfect fit. Show it how it works. Set for 12. see restricting it makes the powder drop a little slower less big chunks will clumps will fall out that way the idea is is to prevent the avalanche of powder that the larger diameter tube possibly could drop causing an overcharge the um, device catches the overcharges but you got to be paying attention I'm not gonna say that this will prevent them I mean it's possible it still could happen but um, should give a little more consistent results I would think I'm not the first to make uh, restrictors for these guys but uh, I like my approach simple Threaded internally and externally. Easy to install, easy to remove. And I may have uh, different diameters depending on charge weight for the orifice. Haven't decided yet. This one seems to work pretty good. Works pretty good for me. My stuff comes with a money back uh, guarantee. If you don't like it, then send it back. These aren't very big. Printing them with a higher resolution than normal, and uh, in order to get the threads, and so they're going to be three or four bucks. And you can, if you got a lathe, you can probably roll your own. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the web.